get started! <laughs> Offense and defense in one! From the Hero Course, Fumikage Tokoyami! Okay, the cuss person. Consider me impressed. Oh, that's great. You guys already set up the stage. But we are not here for Wing. <laughs> We're here for the duck. Ah, oh, well. This is Daffy Duck. He's a duck that looks like a gold duck that got in touch with the dark side. <coughs> the only problem here is that gold duck looks more like a platypus than a duck. Wait. He's a semi aquatic egg laying mammal. <laughs> Anyways, he clearly has teeth. I know he's based off a crow, but crows, magpies, and ravens don't have teeth. They have black feathers and black beaks. <laughs> Clever comrade. He's clearly a duck. <laughs> that is all. <clears throat> yeah, ducks have teeth, but more like serrated beaks than actual teeth. And the closest thing we have on toothed blackbirds with yellow beaks is the American black duck. The American black duck. Continuing on with the duck. Apparently he's a total edge lord whose preferred habitat is very dark. Yet has no night vision of any kind. Revelry in the dark. In fact, despite having a bird for a head, Daffy Duck doesn't seem to have any avian abilities whatsoever. Hmm. That's strange. Moving on to his quirk. Moving on to his quirk. Daffy Duck can summon a strange shadowy entity known as the Dumb Blaster. Dark Shadow! I got her! This thing is capable of morphing into any known shape imaginable. Tokoyami Fumikage! Quirk Dark Shadow! He's got a shadow like monster that can materialize and morph into any creation he wants! And also totally invulnerable to damage of any kind. As you can see, he's incredibly overpowered. But it's okay, because heroes are allowed to be overpowered, unlike villains. That's irritating, but it's nothing impressive. Speaking of his insane versatility, it can only mean that he's not gonna do anything about it. <laughs> In fact, he prefers being a small shadowy bird-like figure than anything else. It was all thanks to me! Tomura has been the one to chip away at society's trust in heroes, so is it fair that I should land the final Even then, Daffy Duck and Dumblaster are still both connected via this thing, black line shadow link umbilical cord whatever, it cannot be severed. Uh, what? And it has almost unlimited range, since the anime doesn't really show anything. Also, it cannot be disabled, since Dumb Blaster is an entity, Daffy Duck needs to be disabled for him to come back. Quirk Gene. I can shield those genes and temporarily block their expression. I'm not really sure about this. But the closest thing to this can be seen at the Sandsman arc with the Polter guy fight. Can't you stop him? I can't do anything without seeing his real body. Person is ridiculously oh he I want one I'll take good care of it. That reminds me. Despite being incredibly versatile and having unlimited potential, Dumb Blaster is not treated as a character, just a talking quirk that belonged to Daffy Duck. Other characters don't really care if Dumb Blaster's in or out. He's just completely ignored. Oh. I'm not really sure if he's even allowed to come out at random since he's almost never out, unless there's a fight or something needs to be done. Ashido, leave the rest to me. The darkness is my domain. Dark Shadow! I think something's going on here. What would you wish for? Me? Well, in my case... What? Freedom. You're a prisoner? 
It's all part and parcel of the whole genie gig. Phenomenal cosmic power! What a grand view you must have had from atop his sacrifices. Moving on to his weakness. He's weak at day, and uncontrollable by night. But this is not really explained very well. Anyways. Dumb Blaster passively enrages during night time. Goal is to keep control of Dark Shadow even when it goes wild! Dark Shadow! But this doesn't make any sense. How come Daffy Duck doesn't know what will happen? It's like he's never experienced a bad night before. Anger consumed me, and I let my quirk take over. What the hell is going on? Furthermore, we can see other inconsistencies over here. See, nothing broke. The cave didn't give in. What the hell is he doing in there? Revelry in the. His room's completely dark. Is he going to be uncontrollable at dark areas or not? Well, this is anime, anyways. Consistency can go screw itself. If he's going to be difficult to control at dark areas, then stick to it. How hard could that be? Oh, by the way, I am the final boss. <laughs> I think at this point Daffy Duck can just bring a flashlight himself in case of Dumb Blaster aging again. I hope babysitting little person isn't too overwhelming. Anyways, let's continue on with the duck. By design, one can clearly see that Daffy Duck just stands there while Dumb Blaster does all the work. He literally does nothing, not even issuing commands or doing something worthwhile himself. In fact, Dumb Blaster is not really weak against light, he's just scared of it. His hands are still out. But what could happen if Daffy Duck already graduated and became a hero? Would he be out all the time or it's just Dumb Blaster wearing goggles and carrying an umbrella doing all the work? I tear apart every last atom. Well that's stupid, not to mention unfair to Dumb Blaster. Hey. Miss Clickbait? Hello? I've been noticing you've been texting a lot lately. Hello? Miss Clickbait? Little person, what's wrong with your babysitter? Anyways, where were we by? Yes, the special moves. By covering myself with shadow, I'm better at close combat. My strength is enhanced. I call it... Abyssal Dark Shadow! This makes sense, as Dumb Blaster is totally invulnerable to anything. What doesn't make sense is that there's no need for close quarter combat. Since Dumb Blaster can handle everything normally, and Affy Duck is not even good at fighting close ranges. He's just putting himself in harm's way. But it's okay. MHA villains are pathetically weak after all. No! Not so fast! <laughs> Another question to ask is if Dumb Blaster is okay with it. Daffy Duck seem fine with sending him to take some hits. You guys are fried! <laughs> and finally. His flight capabilities. So awesome that almost every character stopped and gazed upon such sheer awesomeness despite Dumb Blaster casually levitating since day one. And what the hell is up with Wing? How can this guy teach this guy to fly? They're both birds. 
but their quirks function differently. It's like Wing telling Daffy Duck he should strap some feathers on his arms and fly that way. His flight made it seem that Dumb Blaster is really never out, and he never had the opportunity to know other things he can do. I think I'm more hero than him. Yeah deadline. Everyone is asking to unleash Dumb Blaster. And never how's Dumb Blaster 